That's something that I do want to talk about. And it might feel that we're jumping around a bit, but there's another, this, this, this portion of the Pope's message that specifically had to do with formation. Mm -hmm. um, and I know you weren't in seminary that long ago. No. <laughs> um, we won't tell people how old you are. Uh, yeah. But uh, when you were in seminary, in, the internet already existed, email already existed, mm -hmm. um, but I'm sure that there was no s formation in terms of how should uh, future priests conduct themselves mm -hmm. in, 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 in the realm of media. How do you think this message uh, is going to or should impact mm -hmm. the formation of seminarians? Yeah, I think the, the um, formation team at the seminary with this um, message from the Holy Father will try to do something, to have something put in place to, to train, the, to have their uh, at least some basic information or training for the seminarians um, because they are the ones who are f very familiar with these technologies and they're more comfortable with it rather than the, the priests. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, that. Yeah. For, uh, I, somebody, I was mentioning this to somebody uh, just a couple days ago and, and uh, I guess the question was, well, why should priests be comfortable in in, 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 in the world of digital media. And he said, well, it's very possible that 30 years from now, 40 years from now, mm -hmm. we will have a pope who maybe wrote a blog or who was on Facebook because he would have, uh, as I said, I mean, all seminarians now mm -hmm. probably are, have some sort of online presence. Um, so how the seminary, because you can see it in, in two, I mean, there, there's that aspect. And there's also the aspect in terms of being able to communicate through, through the media. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Um, that what you were doing when you were being interviewed on, on, a, on a television program is not the same as you going home and using the digital media. So we're talking about two separate yeah. things. Mm -hmm. um, how, do, do you, are, are you suggesting that, that that's an option for seminarians or that... It's something that all seminarians should learn, and maybe even priests, that the diocese should be offering workshops on. With the message of the, the Holy Father, he's, very, he's encouraged, uh, obviously, everyone, to, to, if we, have, we are able to, to, to engage using this, yes. this whole the, uh, uh, technology so to, to proclaim the, the, the gospel or the, 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 and be present out there with, with the people or in this uh, world here. Um, with the training of the seminarians, we, we, we should have all the, the seminarians have the trainings or, right. or some information. And yeah. the, the, uh, the, but this message is also for all the priests, not only the seminarians. Are, uh, and, right. and out there we already have some priests are very comfort, comfortable or really interested in, yes, in, some in, in this and they already have something out there and, and with the whole uh, message of the Holy Father, I think it's encouraged more and more priests to engage in, yeah. in this using this Maybe for yeah, almost evangelization. Giving, yeah, almost giving them permission. In fact, when we come back, we're going to uh, be hearing from one of these priests who uh, seems to have this whole new technology and and new media and digital presence really down pat. Father Robert Barron from his ministry is, is word on fire. Uh, he was in our studio a few weeks ago and we had a chance to speak with him. And when we come back also, we will be speaking with our second guest, Sister Marie Paul Curley. So don't go away, we'll be right back. Let us know your perspective. Email us at perspectives at saltandlighttv.org or reach us by mail Perspectives at Salt and Light Television, 114 Richmond Street East, Toronto, Ontario, M5C 1P1. Or call us toll free at 1 888 302 7181. Let your perspective be heard. Word on Fire started about 10 years ago when uh, I began doing um, sermons for the radio in Chicago on WGN, which is one of the big radio stations. And I got uh, a slot at 5.15 on Sunday morning. So I was there very early at WGN. Then we expanded that into Relevant Radio, which is a national Catholic radio network. And then really to house the sermons, we founded the website. 
So the website now has 10 years of audio archives on the sermons. But that's how it got started. And then a few years ago, Cardinal George asked me to work very specifically on evangelizing the culture. So I've been a professor for a long time at the seminary. And sort of on the side, I was doing this speaking and writing and, and evangelizing. But he asked me about five years ago to really work on it. So then we kicked the website into a new gear and started doing a lot of the DVDs and that sort of thing. One thing I wanted to do is reach out to the unchurched. And so YouTube had just kind of come into existence yeah. now, a few years ago, and I didn't know much about it. I thought, why not you know, make some uh, videos yes. that are uh, commenting on also, books and movies and music and popular culture and put those up on YouTube. So we started doing that a few years ago, and I was, uh, I was amazed at how much response I got. I'm going around the world to do a documentary on the Catholic faith to talk about great themes of Catholicism, but then to show it. We're a smart religion, we're also a beautiful religion. And so to show through art, architecture, poetry, in these great places, uh, how the Catholic faith uh, looks, how it shows up in the world. So the documentary is meant to bring out the truth of the faith and also the beauty of it. So I've been filming now around the world in high definition, uh, working with a great team. We hope to have this out at the end of this calendar year, end of 2010. 10 part series that I hope can be used in all sorts of settings, both inside the church and outside. The church is going through a dark period. The church is under fire, it's under attack. The Catholic story is being told, but being told by the wrong people in the wrong way. We need to tell our own story. We need to get the message out so as to draw people in. Catholicism is smart, Catholicism is beautiful, Catholicism is colorful, it's textured, it engages the mind and the heart and the body. Christianity always has an explosive power. If we let it be itself, it always has this transformative power. How do you find joy? The sure sign that God is alive in you is joy. I've come that you might have life and have it to the full. That's what Jesus said. Catholicism at its heart is not a no, it's a yes. In fact, it's the story of the whole world. It's your story.